Hello and welcome, Gaming Noodle here again at the Old Castle Terrace for another episode of Odin Sphere. Oswald is safe. What a relief. I can see he's safe. He's yes, behind indeed. me. Hello, Brom. You mustn't. Don't go anywhere without telling me ever again. But in any event, all right, I too Dad. am happy to hear of Oswald's return. We're all happy then. Excellent. And let's get the hell out of here. So, how are you guys today? You good? I'm good. I just uh, watched the movie Tintin, the new one, and it was incredible. I loved it. I love Tintin. I, you know, when I was a kid, I watched all the cartoons. Fantastic. Has Watch Oswald's it if you haven't. Changed? Has Oswald's no. at the moment. He's still bedridden. May I ask you something? Mm. What is it? I have heard rumors suggesting that Oswald has some type of connection to the Queen of Death. Well, um, hmm. Yep, In explain, order to please. Increase my Belder Reaver's power. My father sold me to her. Oswald! Who's your father and why did you do rest. that? Nice and shirt. Just as he wished, Either. I acquired the cursed power of the Shadow Knight. But in compensation for this contract, the Holia lurk about everywhere. They are waiting for the moment my power fades. The Holia. How terrible! As long as I have the Belder Reaver, the Holia fear me and stay away. I but see. This power continues to be my curse. But it's the only thing keeping you alive. That was a close call back there. I must thank you. But, Gwendolyn, why did you go to the Fire Kingdom? What did you discuss with Onyx? I apologize for not obeying your command to stay here. But, I was so worried and concerned about you. I could not sit idly by. Huh? She's not fit to be you a housewife. Were worried about me? Divorce. I, I, um, yep, she's I liking guess. you. And what are you doing here? You belong to my father's troops. I have something to report. I like how Oswald Ragnarok just walks off. Suffered a crushing defeat from the veneer under their new queen. Doesn't want to listen to girl They've gossip. The area around the cauldron. That can't be. How is the king? Is the king all right? King Odin has been wounded by arcane bolts and has returned to the castle. Good, to be His honest. His injuries are severe, and he is in no shape to do battle. The enemy will surely take this opportunity to invade the castle. Mm. The precious ring he received from your highness has been taken away. <sighs> you gave away oh, that's right, he didn't know that she gave the ring away to her father. That was at the beginning. <sighs> Before she really liked him or knew him, really. Demon Lord Ski. So, I was used as a puppet. Wait a moment. I really. Explain yourself, then. Run after him or something. For now, please return to the kingdom and assist King Odin. I cannot return to my father, but I will serve my responsibility as the king's daughter. And fight. I don't know why she'd do that when he she was banished. King of my intentions. She's doing out of duty for what the nation and not her father or something, or the other way around. I don't know. I don't get it. But she's doing it anyway. I wouldn't blame her anyway because it is her father at the end You're of the day. Can retrieve that ring, the entire war will change. Are you doing this for your father? Hmm. Or for him? For Oswald? Why? How would that be helping Oswald? I never imagined losing someone could be so terrifying. I don't want to lose him. Then, to be honest, you should go after him first. He thinks that, you know, you betrayed him, and you kind of did. 
but you didn't like him back then and now you like him and now it's just made things more complicated. But nope, looks like we are going to be going straight into the Fairy Kingdom to retrieve that ring. Hmm, I don't know if that's the best move. Seems a bit foolish, if you ask me. I mean, that Valkyrie was right, you, you, you know, you're going to go in alone, by yourself. Your father has been stricken down. The war is... well, the... You know, the Valkyries and everyone, they're all losing the war. And yet you decide to go by yourself into, like, the heart of the Fairy Kingdom. Seems... it doesn't seem foolish, it seems stupid. Let's just say it how it is, it's... it's retarded. And I don't mean that in an offensive way, if you are disabled, I, uh, my sympathies. If you don't want my sympathy, I'm sorry. If you don't want my apologies, I don't know what to do. We've got more fairies here that need to be dead. Now, th there's a problem with this game. Well, with my game in particular, is that I have basically been rushing through it. I've been going to the end bosses of each level fairly quickly, and I haven't really been XPing. Like, uh, and by XPing, I mean on my HP and my weapon levels. So they're both actually kind of low. And honestly, it should be better to grind just a bit, like just do a bit of go backtracking, going to old zones and killing sub bosses a few times to collect like coins and fosons, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff, and to go to the Puka village especially and to cook, you know, as much as you can. Because when you cook in that place and you eat the stuff, ouch, sub boss, this sub boss is a pain. But when you cook a lot of things, it really helps boost your HP levels up. Um, and I actually do it, oh, but only before I fight the last boss of this whole chapter. Because to be honest, like, right now my levels are kind of low. And I was just finding it, incre like, it was just very difficult for me to kill the final boss with my current levels, so I had to go back and XP a bit. Now I'm gonna sneeze, I think. Am I? And uh, no. Okay, it went away. It's probably gonna come back in a minute with a vengeance and I'm gonna start sneezing all over the place. But uh, yeah, I had to actually go back and level up because I just thought this is, I was dying so much. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I was losing my patience. I was like, I, I, I'm, I can't do this. Like, I can do it, but it's like, it's gonna take how many tries for me to finally get it. So I was like, f this. I went back. I started killing bosses. I got my health levels up, and I got my cipher levels up. So there will be a ninja edit, and you will probably notice before the final fight that my help, my uh, health and cipher weapons went up a few points, and that's why. It's not witchcraft, it's just poor editing on my behalf. And these sub-boss fights, man, I'm telling you, I had quite a bit of difficulty with it. And by quite a bit, I mean a lot. Almost dead for like the tenth time, but it's fine, it's fine, I, uh, I push on through, I persevere. Because, well... I'm stubborn like that. It's very difficult for me to like get so angry with a game that I just quit it. Like, it's very difficult for me to just be like, oh, for God's sake, this is retardedly difficult, and throw the controller and like turn it off. Like, I, it, it just it doesn't feel right when I do that. So I've never really done it. Sure, I can get bored of a game and stop playing it. But if something is inc like really, really difficult, oh, butterfly! I need the butterfly. Gimme, gimme! Yeah, I got smacked once. That was worth it. But yeah, I, I can't, I can't just quit because it's difficult. I have to try, it and I need. It's like something in me. It's like I have to do it. I have to beat whatever level, whatever boss. It has to be done. I don't care if it's ten tries or if it's a thousand. I'm gonna do it. All right. I remember when I uh, oh god, a long time ago when Final Fantasy VIII came out. I actually played it on the PC, 
and it was my first Final Fantasy game, I will admit that. And I basically went through the story mode, like I went through the storyline, and I didn't do anything. I didn't like level up like properly. I didn't I didn't grind any levels. I didn't draw lots of magic. I didn't do anything. I was just auto attacking all the way through the game. And then I got to a bit I think it was disc two or something. Where you know when you go into uh, oh god, what's it called? Uh, this is the, the, you know where you start off on the island? You know there's that town. I just the the I forgot the name, but that town is like a seaside kind of town. I went there, and you know where um, you have to fight uh, Raijin and Fujin. I was on that fight, um, and I couldn't win it. I just couldn't win it. Uh, Raijin would just always beat me, and I couldn't beat him. And if I got somehow I got lucky and I did beat him, he would run into the hotel, and then you would follow him immediately and get into another fight without any kind of interruption. There was no time to like heal up or anything, and it was like it was ridiculous. I, you know, I kept dying and I couldn't beat it. It doesn't matter what I did. I I had a save where I was basically in the town, so I don't think I could have. I don't know if I could leave the town or something. Or it just never occurred to me to do that, but I had to. I, I started all the way from the beginning again. I was like, I can't do this. I'm too low level. But then, of course, you know, years later, I realized levels don't actually mean anything in the game. It's got nothing to do with levels. In, I mean, I just recently finished of because I got nostalgic about it, and I started playing, you know, Final Fantasy VIII from beginning to end, and I still love the game. But I did it with no level up. I did a no level up game. Not a single character leveled up from from beginning to end, and it was the most easiest Final Fantasy game I've ever played. It was really easy. It was just uh, it was it was funny. I I was thinking to myself, my God, you know, if you got junctions sorted out, this game is just easy. It's so easy. The game is all about junctions. Maybe I should do a Final Fantasy run with like. No levels, no junctions. Oh, I'd kill myself probably if I did that. I don't know. It could, I might, maybe. I do love that game, so... And I love Final Fantasy IX as well. I I actually, um, when I first started this channel, I, I had the intention of doing a Let's Play, but my PC at the time wasn't so good. Anyway, I was recording Final Fantasy IX footage, and... Some ways into it, a few episodes in, my... I don't know, I couldn't record properly, it wasn't... Like, the lag was really bad. So I basically had to stop my Let's Play, and I just stopped. And I let the channel just sit here. And then I thought afterwards, oh no, I really want to do it again, like, it would be nice to, and... I got a new PC, and I thought, you know, why not, let's just try it, let's, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's try and do some Let's Plays again, and I did. I did. I started off with Darksiders, and I got that finished, and I said, sweet, got it done. My first full Let's Play. And then that just kind of, you know, from there, I've just continued making videos and hope to continue in the future. Uh, I should probably talk about the game now, because I've been waffling on about bollocks. I did make a mistake in a few earlier episodes about the Halia, when the Halia was mentioned. Oh, just before I get to that, um, I found myself in a huge annoyance with this fight because there's two of the sub bosses at once. Luckily, I had that fire spirit potion, which really saved my ass. I drank a potion that put my health to one, but gave me it boosted my attack power. But then I used the spirit uh, flask, which basically lets me take three hits for free and damages them. So it really helped with this fight, really, really. I mean, I probably, I don't know if I would have been able to finish this fight without it. But as I was saying, the Halia was mentioned earlier, and I, th because I haven't played this game in a long time, I thought the Halia meant the Queen of Hell. Um, because in Norse mythology and all that stuff. But that's just, the Halia are these, like, kind of big... Uh, execution looking type guys that that kind of work for the Queen of the Dead in this game 
who is Queen Odette. They are like uh, servants or whatever they are. They're like, you know, they just they do her bidding is what the Halia are. So that was a slight mistake on my behalf. But that's rectified now. Uh, I just couldn't remember. There's a few details because I haven't played this game in a long time. And so I'm basically just playing it again now. So I'm recording as I play it. So I'm, remind I'm reminded of stuff as I go along, really. So my bad. There's probably a lot of other things I've, I've made a mistake on, but it's fine. I'm rediscovering the story, and I really like the story when I play this. This is one thing about this game that I really enjoyed, even though it was... And I was reminded of this recording this episode, that this game can be effing infuriating sometimes. Even on normal difficulty, if you don't level up, it's really infuriating. And I know that sounds stupid, like, oh, you don't level up in an RPG, of course it's going to be... Yeah, I know, but still, for some people, they don't want to be grinding on the same mobs for hours just to be able to beat bosses along the way, you know what I mean? And there's a butterfly. Give me that butterfly. Give me, give me. Just what I needed. Ooh, he almost got me as well. But this is done. I, I've, I've done this one now. I mean, I was so relieved at this point of the game on this level because having two sub-bosses is just ridiculous, especially when I was having such trouble with one only. But I luckily got it done by using a few items. As I said, if I didn't have that red flask with the fire spirits, I probably would not have got this done. But he's dead now. <laughs> and we should be actually on the boss fight now, after this one. Who is the boss? Well... It's not going to be the, the Queen of the Fairies, as you might expect it to be. Remember the, the, the lady with the... yeah, at the beginning of the game? She with the flower, like the petals for the for the crown and stuff. Very pretty. But yeah, she's not actually going to be the boss. You will see who the boss is any second now. Once I decide to stop messing around, trying to find food. Or planting, should I say. Now I'm looking for food. Yum, yum, yum. But yeah, we get to see now who the boss is. I hope that's enough Fozons. Yeah, that's enough. And the other one, come on. We don't have enough Fozons to grow out the last... the last apple, so we're gonna have to make some antidotes or something. Why? Because they release Fozons when you make those stuff. When you use alchemy, you get a certain number of Fozons depending on the material you use. So there you go, perfect. Always resourceful. Always do that. If you think that you don't have enough bosons and you plant something, kind of look in your inventory, see if you can make it happen. If you have any, if you can make any, like, you know, al alchemy, you know, you can use alchemy to make any potions or something. Still blind, no map. Okay, yeah, we have one more level before the the final battle. There's a lot of enemies in this one. As you can see already on the first wave, there's quite a lot. Oh! God, those, those crits are good, but as you can see how underpowered I am, even my crits can't one-shot them. That's a bad sign, when your crits can't one-shot these normal mobs, these normal regular enemies, you're underleveled. Really. And I am definitely that. Yep, here's more waves. Oh, that is a lot. So, let's take him out with one Fozon Burst. And still, a few of them had a, some extra HP. Ooh, butterfly. Always good. Ouch. Oh, just give up. You're dead. Let's see... I do have some food, that's good. Ouch! Damn, they're so annoying, those, 
I mean, sometimes it's like the, the arrows are missiled onto you, like homing missile. It's like you move, you try to move out of the way and it still gets you. I'm almost dead. B. Oh, look. Look at that. The map drops when I don't need it. Thanks, I could have used that like three levels ago. Because I'm right by the boss now. Thanks. Thanks a lot. And my inventory is full. And I kind of want that plus 10 material. I might want to eat first before I continue on. What have I got here? No food, really? Oh, I have a tonic. That's good. No XP from tonics, but whatever. It, it's still... I need the HP. Ringford Palace. For a Valkyrie to come alone to a place like this? It's Odin's witch. Let's ask what brings her here. Calling me a witch. Your Highness, please allow me to introduce myself. I like the floor of the My palace. My name is Gwendolyn. I am King Odin's daughter. Shiny. I have been exiled from my country, but circumstances forced me to come here. And it seems that the roots are like intertwined with the the building structure. That's cool. The ring to trail. <laughs> Can I have my ring back, please? It was given to me as a gift. It is extremely precious to me. I humbly request that you give me the ring. You barged in here to ask that? What cheap? You might may be wondering who is that little uh, fairy that looks different from the others with the petals on her head? She's actually the daughter of the queen. Give you the ring. This ring is a spoil of war taken from the demon lord. And she has a cipher weapon like us. Now. If you do not leave, I shall be forced to demonstrate my Reblum's power. Uh oh. Well, we're not leaving, so I guess that means we're gonna fight. And here we are, the mystical voodoo magic of where my levels are suddenly a few levels higher. And it actually made a world of difference. I did it like I did this fight first time. Did I? Yeah, I did. But, uh, oh my goodness, when I was underleveled, this was the most annoying fight in any game I have ever experienced ever in my whole entire life. And I've been gaming since I was like four or five. In fact, before that, earlier. I remember the first time, I think the first game I ever played was uh, the Commodore 64, and it was Pong, and the controller had that little kind of, uh, that knob that you turned. Yes, a knob. A dial. But yeah, this, she's going down quick now. Ooh! You know, before that would have one-shot me, that, that shot that she did, that charge shot. It did so much damage to me and I was like my HP was so low that it would one shot me. I would have been dead. And I would have been swearing by now. Man, it's so I, I, I really love the this outdoor area of the fairies. We're still in the fairy forest, but like I I guess all those buildings behind are where they live. Unless it's all the royal palace, like lots of different buildings, but I don't know. It's very pretty though, like, it's the colours and the, the plants and the glowing, the glowing lights, it's very nice. And I'm almost dead. I need to go eat instead of attacking. Well, it looks like I don't even care. 57 HP. Yeah, I think now it's time to go eat. Let's see, do I have that tonic still? Come on, where is it? There it is, tonic. Two sips left. And I remember before I leveled up, when I was trying to do this fight before, one sip of tonic would like almost heal me to full. And now I need two and I'm still not full HP. It's pretty sad. But the good news is I can finally defeat her. Where is she? There she is. 
firing off at nothing. It's pretty simple, like, if you've got the levels and stuff, you just kind of stay near her as soon as she starts firing, either run under her or jump over her, and while she's still in her attack animation, you just start swinging away. And that's basically it, really. And she'll go down before you know it. Sometimes, if you get a chain attack off, yeah, she'll fall like that. And when she falls like that, she's stunned. Oh, and I knock her down twice, which is great. Three times! That's actually kind of rare. And I actually ran out of POW because of that. Ooh, I heard the butterfly, I had to go to it. I stopped what I was doing. And you should too, if ever you hear that 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 specific noise of the butterfly, you stop what you're doing, you go find it, you, you get that foson. It's loads of fosons that are free and you need them. Fosons are very good in this game. Alright, we've done it. Almost, almost. Do not die. Because I have no more HP pots, I have no food. This is the HP I'm stuck with. Almost, almost. Uh. Two more hits, three more. That's it. We did it. I did it. You didn't do it. Unless you're playing too, and if you did do it, congratulations. Oh look, another beautiful scene. God, this is so gorgeous. I love this game. Oswald, where have you gone? I told him to get some rest. They're looking for Oswald. Oh, Bram. I see him. Ah, so there he is. Where are they? Unrequited love is quite painful. What is this bridge they're on? But it is even more painful to be imprisoned by someone for whom you feel nothing. Why isn't he holding his weapon? Gwendolyn, I had the slightest glimmer of hope in my heart. And oh boy. It is and that, my friends, is Ahalia. What is that? It's a, a messenger of death. Messenger of death. I like the designs of these guys too. Very cool. Look at that, it kind of reforms itself. It's crazy. He's in, he doesn't even want to pick up his weapon. Wow, does he die? Looks like he just got killed. Oswald. Um. I don't know who should break it to her. Oh, Meryl. Gwendolyn, it is a relief to find you safe. Where is Oswald? Oh boy. Uh, Bad news. Gwendolyn, please listen to me. This is the truth. Oh, you go ahead and tell her the whole thing. Even though it's a very sad thing to tell. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Bye.